Good evening and welcome to the Mike Show for Monday, June 15th, 2020. It's like 7.15 p.m. and I don't know the temperature, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous late spring evening. And I've just come home from a ride from Norway Ridge on the old Kona Jake. And I'm here with Samuel, and Michael, and Max. There's that Samuel. There's that Samuel. And I don't know where else is. I don't know where that Elsie went, but she's around. Hey, hey, Michael, look at him and his favorite little chair. Got four city chickens up on the wire. Sky rats cawing in the distance. Look at Sam, here comes Sam. So anyway, we had an awesome day today. It was a beautiful day. We had the day off from work. And we had coffee and wake up time. Look at my key. Oh, it's Sammy. Oh, Sam. Look at Sam. Look at that, Sam. Oh, Samuel. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? Look at my coat. Yeah, after coffee and wake-up time, we... What did we do? We did some laundry. Um, we did some accounting. Oh, we, we worked out. We went grocery shopping at Save-A-Lot. Uh, we had a delicious salad. We had some gruel before that and a gabagool sandwich, some grilled gabagool provolone on our grilled homemade bread. And after that went to Meyer, picked up a few groceries there, came home and regrouped and rode the ridge and uh, on the way home from there we stopped at Burger King and got a Whopper. And the reason we did that is Burger King is closing. And I learned that the reason they are clothing, eh, closing is their uh, lease ran out on their building and they were going to build a new store, but with COVID coming along, the owners decided not to. So that's what happened. It was funny, I'm in the drive through line getting my Whopper and there's a sign taped to the uh, where you order saying there's no no more uh, whatever soda pop they sell. And then after it said that, I don't know if it was Pepsi or what, it said this means there's no, no, there's no pop. <laughs> they had to spell that out for people. Oh boy, the dumbing down of America. Anyway, I'm not a big fan of eating fast food, as everyone knows. I call it Soylent Green. And... Uh, but for old time's sake, I had to have a Whopper, and I have to say it was pretty darn good. And I think I might be getting another one before they close on the 21st. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I remember back when Burger King and all the franchise stores opened over in the area where it is and the mall and all that, and the culture and society's changing back then, and how uh, we as a group in this country were franchising away all the uh, the environment, you know, the minerals, the resources, the land, the uh, habitat for animals and animals, you know, and that's what we've kind of done in this country, franchised everything away. Another reason why I think COVID's here, to tell us there's too many people and to make some changes, but that's neither here nor there, but I had to say it. Oh, and we scored some firewood. We stopped. We, we ended up driving to Meyer. I don't remember if I said I biked there. I did. I biked to save a lot, but I drove to Meyer because I wanted to stop at the cemetery and get some firewood for tonight. And I did that. Look at Mackie. Look at that, Mackie. Hello, Max. We scored a whole bunch of maple at the cemetery. We got enough for a few fires there. And we're going to start burning that up tonight. We might even uh, roast some marshmallows. So anyway, we're going to read to our loves tonight from this book right here, which we got from the little library down at the boat harbor. Here comes Mackie. Come here, cuddle, Mackie. Oh, Maxie, 
doing a maxi stretch, Max? You're doing a maxi stretch or a partial one, and Sam's coming to see him because they're pals. Yeah, they are. Mikey's getting a bite to eat. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous tonight. Blue sky, a few clouds here and there, wisps of clouds. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to pause for a moment. Welcome back to the Least Watched Show on YouTube. I am still your host, Fuck Kamal. Mikey's here again. Elsie just went by, but where did she go? Sammy went in the house. I went in the house, too. I was thinking about braiding my nose hairs, but I decided not to put a nice French braid in them. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But while I was inside, I thought of something else that we did this morning that was exciting. And now I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, we were going to take our recyclables back, and we went to take them, and the bins were gone again. So I don't know what was up with that. They're cleaning up the debris from the building where the fire was, you know, what was left of the rubble and all that, uh, where the bins are. So maybe they moved them again for temporarily till they clean that area up. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned, too, excitement from this morning. We got the electric bill paid, so there it is. Where'd that else go? And the highlight of coffee and wake-up time, of course, for those of you who were not tuned in, neighbor Steve won the uh, gold medal in the lawn mowing competition. Catch that and catch his form and his uh, gold, went, gold medal performance. Oh, Sammy's back. We pulled some of the wood out of the truck that we're going to burn up. Mikey just jumped up on his chair. Look at that, Mikey. Look at that, Mikey. Yeah, so anyway... I don't know. Who does, though, really, when it comes right down to it? There's Elsie. Come here, Elsie. Come on, honey. Come on, Elsie. There's my lady. I forgot to get the brushes. I'm going to comb and brush these sweethearts tonight, too. Oh, yeah. So we're going to pause again. Damn. Welcome back once more. I just thought of some other excitement. When I uh, hitched up my pants and slipped the belt in and hooked it up, I got down to the third notch in the belt. A couple months ago, I was at the first notch, and then I made it down to the second notch, and now I'm actually able to use the third notch, which means I'm getting rid of all the fat I accumulated over the winter and starting to get buffed back out. And it's great for this old man's ego, this semi-old fossil, to be buffed out and it's good for my ego vanity and false pride I'm gonna keep going at it biking yoga weightlifting eating right doing whatever I gotta do to get myself all buffed out yeah and going back to fast food you know when I was thinking about how things changed in the 70s and 80s and even going back to the 60s with all the corporation and the way people started eating out more instead of cooking more and all the prepackaged foods and all that the health and obesity rates the health rates got worse the obesity rates skyrocketed and uh <laughs> yeah i got away from that kind of stuff a long time ago but i just I, I did decide uh when i was going by kentucky fried chicken i think i'm gonna try some of that too because i probably haven't had any of that in 20 years if not more I never ever liked that gravy, but you put a quart of it in front of me and I'll eat them potatoes and gravy and I don't know why because I don't like the gravy. It's really weird. It's like while I'm eating it, I just keep doing it and going, man, this tastes bad. Why am I eating it? And then I just slop more gravy on it and keep eating it. I don't know. It's kind of a contradiction, I know. Why would I eat it if I don't like it? But it's like... They must put something in the food to make me want to eat it. Who knows? Look at Elsa. She's speaking of eating. She's having to eat a meal, a little supper and some drinky. She's getting a drinky over there. So I think that's all we got. I'm going to shoot some still pictures, bust up that wood, read a chapter to the loves. What do you think about that plan, Mikey? Huh? What are you thinking about that? Look at that. The chairman of the board. There he is. Mr. Michael, my Prince Michael. Sammy moved over to here. Maxie's over by the truck. So 
So that's all we got tonight. And I already burned through 10 minutes. So piss off and have a wonderful evening. Thanks for not tuning in.